26, the federal government is stepping in to give airline passengers a little more support. The Department of Transportation is extending its passenger bill of rights, which in some cases will mean more compensation for travelers. Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Kennedy joins us now with the details. Flying isn't cheap, and when you factor in excess baggage fees, it can really add up, especially when you're traveling with the whole family. Under new federal guidelines, if your bags are lost, the airline must not only pay for the contents, but also give you back their baggage fees. Airlines will also have to pay more if passengers are bumped from an oversold flight, anywhere from $650 to $1,300, depending on how long it takes to get rebooked. And no more expensive surprises at the airport or on the plane. Whether it's the tax, whether it's the fact that if you want to use a pillow or a blanket, and there's a cost for that, they disclose that. If you want to eat on the plane, they disclose that. All of the costs for the ticket will be disclosed on the website. The airlines will also pay a price for leaving passengers stuck on a plane if travelers sit on the tarmac for more than three hours on a domestic flight or four hours on an international flight. The airlines face bigger fines. It's hard enough flying as it is. It's a lot of stress involved in it, a lot of planning involved in it. And I just got off a flight where I sat an hour and a half on the on the tarmac and it was not pleasant. I think the changes are good things. I think it makes the airports or the airlines more accountable for their overbookings and for the time that people have to wait. And finally, carriers will have to do more to inform passengers about delays or cancellations both at the airport and online. The expanded passenger bill of rights takes effect in August right at the peak of summer travel. Erin Kennedy, Eyewitness News.